Hello, welcome to the Wealth Transfer. Charles Ty is straight. I'm checking. And he, <laughs> I was checking to make and sure our are, microphone was up. <laughs> we are here inviting you to this show today. Thank you. We're global economics, <laughs> biblical principles, and protecting and preserving your family's wealth is paramount. Yes, because today we're going to get back right into this war on cash and the banking videos. We had had such an overwhelming response from last week's video. Uh, could we replay it? So what we're going to do is play that video with the second one in the same program today and then have some commentary in between so you can understand why was this important and then where, what do you have to do in order to take care of it. So my name is Terry Saka. I'm the chief strategist here and we're along with Dr. Charles Vance. Hello, Charles. Hi, hi, Terry. I'm, I'm uh, glad that you're bringing videos on the program that substantiates what you've been teaching for years now. It's true, uh, right? I mean, it's Good point. <laughs> other people are actually recording this on national on a national basis and letting mm -hmm. people see it uh, because it's important. People think a lot of times people think, gosh, these are conspiracy theory people. You know, they think everybody's out to get them, and uh, and the government's our friend. They need to quit picking at the government and the banking system. That's where we have our life and what have you. Well, and you know what, right there, I, I want to, this is very important because a lot of people think like that. Well, sure. what are we going to do without the bank? Well, here's yeah. the very most, I mean, most important thing we can get out of this argument. I, I'm not saying no bank. I'm saying go back to we, the people banking, sure. meaning regional banks, small local community banks, because they lent based on knowing your character. Sure. But mine seen, and I know you, we're seeing in our society, we're becoming characterless. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you know, we're highly becoming highly perverted, highly immoral. We have flipped God thinking and, and put up Luciferian thinking. Sure. And if you stand up for Christ, somehow you're the bad guy. I have a list of 75 points of what an extremist is in this country. Well, I meet about 50 of them, maybe 60. <laughs> the only thing I'm not is violent because I could care less about trying to do something by violence because if we, are, if we have to resort to violence, we've already lost, all right? And I don't care. I'm gonna sit back and barbecue. I'm gonna have a lovely time with my family and my neighbors and ride this thing out. But am I extreme everywhere else? I'm extreme because I believe in the Bible. I'm extreme because I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm extreme because I'm an evangelical Christian. I'm extreme because Jesus Christ has authority over all the power of the enemy, which those that wrote those documents are the enemy. They're antichrists, they're Luciferians, and they have demons. So obviously we're extremists because it was written by people who are demons demon infected and they may not even know it but they're antichrist they hate god so you have a big chunk of our political spectrum who hates god jerry here and you need to know this because this is why our system is collapsing <laughs> here's something god told me a few years ago he said extreme believing brings extreme promises it brings extreme results so we I'm have to you. be extreme if yeah. we're going to be mundane and dull and and just flow with the system we're, the system is going to control us. You're Whoa, going to be right like, there. You're, you're going to be like a boat that yes. somebody launched with no motor. What you just said. I know I'm totally jumping on that. Yeah, because I know. Wherever the stream goes is where you're going. What you just said is exactly what America's doing. Sure it is. For the most part, we see those responding to this type of knowledge and wisdom. They're taking action, but they're small percentages. Mm -hmm. Most of America is just kind of cruising along. And I really, honestly, in their, in their favor, believe that it's because they don't know. Well, it, it's so confusing out there. It, 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 and the, the system is trying to keep them in the dark. Absolutely. Satan, the Bible says, and I don't want to try to get super spiritual with this, but Satan blinds the minds. That word blind in the Greek means obscures. He pulls a veil over and, and we talked right. about this. All this, the time, right? Yeah. The, it, so he, he blinds the minds of them that don't believe. So it, it, it's a mushroom. It, it feeds itself. It goes to seed. So after a while, people that refuse to believe or listen to anything yes. different, 
will just be so consumed by the system that they'll think the truth is wrong. Well, and that's what's going on right now. Sure, and it that's is. why the wealth transfer program is here because we're bringing you some hardcore truths about what's really getting ready to take place, not just globally, but in our country, and it's going mm. to in, uh, infect and affect your retirement standard of living because the banking system is in extraordinary trouble. Our hard-earned wealth is in a wrong place, but if we want to be part of a wealth transfer, be viable for the church, be viable here to help feed friends and, and help support one another, we better be protected. So because of the high demand we had to replay the video, let's jump right in and play video number one explaining why the banking system is already insolvent and why you better be careful. So let's engage in this video now. The large global and Wall Street banks are the ones at most risk because they've been gambling with depositor money on risky derivative bets and other speculative investment devices, which means that when, not if, these bets start going bad, the banks will be on the hook for their deficient value. According to the Bank for International Settlements, which is essentially a central bank for the world's central banks, the notional value of these derivative contracts is an astounding $700 trillion. Think $700,000 billion. The entire world's GDP is only $70 trillion. There's not enough money on the planet to cover these bets. What most people don't understand is that once you give a bank your money, the money is legally no longer yours. Under the law, depositors are considered unsecured creditors to the bank and are treated as such under any bankruptcy proceeding. This type of loss happened with the collapse of MF Global. And while MF Global was a futures trading company and not a bank, the blueprint for confiscations was delivered here. The losses of customer funds were upheld by the legal system with the Sentinel case. Another important fact is this. These speculative derivatives have super priority status in a bankruptcy proceeding, which means that any derivative contract holder gets paid first, before shareholders, creditors, and depositors like you. I, I keep getting put, stuck on this. I'm just like in awe. Derek. I'm just sitting here looking at this video going, <laughs> I, and I know this, and mm -hmm. I'm in awe over this because we have been smoked for about 40 years since they came off the gold standard. And why is this? Now, the reason it worked for 30, 40 years is because, as we've shown in past programs, they've expanded the credit, the printed money, and all of that uh, credit deficit stuff. So we didn't see it. But what we didn't know is the fact is, if you had 100000 in the bank for retirement in the 70s, today it's worth a staggering $1.7 million if you were in silver. And if you have the same now, $100,000 in the 70s used to buy you a lot. That was pretty substantial wealth. Well, and remember, gas was 20 cents. We could buy a lot in the 70s. Well, $100,000 today doesn't buy you almost anything it did, right? Look at housing, cars, clothes. Everything's more expensive. So for those who stayed in paper money, they lost substantially over these decades. Those who stayed in God's money and constitutional money, which was silver, have gained tremendous wealth. Granted, the price didn't skyrocket right away. It went up, down, up, and down. But it's boring. You buy this hard, tangible asset, you stick it in a vault. Oh, that's not exciting. You don't have to, you can't wake up and look at the stock prices. You they can't call your broker and feel really, really special. Well, look what they're doing. We have reports from all over the country that stockbrokers, financial advisors, accountants, bankers, are verbally abusing people who want to take their money, are almost violent, verbally violent, uh, towards their intelligence, insulting people who want to take their money. Go and try to get your money out of the bank you can't, and try to take your money out of an annuity you can take months on end. And I've even heard annuity people um, fight back, fire back. Well, that's not accurate. Variable annuities, but not fixed annuities. You can always get your money. You're missing what the point I'm saying. Try getting the company to give it to you. We have the reports. We have audios of this taking place. So while this is happening, while we're unraveling behind the scenes, the apocalypse, a.k.a., right, the unveiling of truth, 
We better get properly positioned as a kingdom, and this is why this is important. So let's start with an education. Register on our website. Give us a call. We'll guide you if you want to. If we can't do it, we'll guide you to who can. But more importantly, get educated. Here's where you can start. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. So the second part of this, FDIC... A lot of folks think the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. That sounds important. Guarantees their money in the bank. Hmm. I don't have to worry. It's guaranteed for $250,000. Well, maybe you ought to take a look at the law. And by the way, the FDIC bylaws say, remember, corporation, not part of the government. They insure the federal bank. They're not government. They're a private banking consortium. And by the way, the bylaw says they have 99 years to pay you back. <laughs> Good luck, right? That, that's almost hilarious. I'm sure we're raptured <clears throat> by then. So the, we want to get into this in the next video here. The FDIC is actually, for the, the things that I read, said it's owned and operated by the uh, the uh, federal banking system. Exactly. Well, that's you, the federal banks insuring their own bank well, they set money aside. Uh, yeah, but how much? $25 billion. Y Yeah, but how much is that relative to how much is in the bank? Just, just trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions in the of bank. debt. debt. We, we debt. saw that. Debt. Yeah. The Federal Reserve is trillions in debt, and they have $25 billion to back them up. Set aside, yeah. Set so aside. it's just ridiculous. They're broke. Sure. Right. Now, now, they could do that if one little bank collapsed. Yes. But if there was a series of banks that began yes. to collapse... Big that's, time trouble. That's why the government well, steps in yes. and has to bail these people out. Well, and that's what happened in 2008 now. Yeah, tax 2008, right. these banks were collapsing. Lehman Brothers, Bear sure. Stearns were going down. Yep. And the government stepped in. And I know because I've had, I have banking clients. I have clients at Cornerstone that come from banks that are very high up in the chain. And they told me the stories about what happened in 2008. The government forced them to take the bailouts forced them to merge in certain relationships to an extent. Now, you know, there's a movie out that doesn't look like the government actually did. The bankers do have some autonomy. But they came down the line, if you're viable and you want to survive, you better do it. And so what happened, these banks are going out, the bigger banks swallowed them up, the bigger banks that were too big to fail became even bigger and now more powerful. And I'm advocating two schools of thought, which I'm just a little one, but I'm a little one, little fish in a big pond with a big mouth. <laughs> in the sense that I'm going to say one thing. <laughs> two things we should have always done in the Western world, and I hope some intelligent, powerful people catch on to this. One, after this takes place and we have an economic meltdown, social unrest will definitely be happening. But then we go back to common sense, regional, local banking. Get rid of the commercials. Two, Get rid of Keynesian economics and go to Austrian economic philosophy. Do your homework on it. Austrian economics states saving money and producing things. If we did these two things in America, we the people could be viable and have a nation. If we don't and we follow the prescription of these Marxist, socialist, anarchists who are trying to run around saying everyone else is the hater when they themselves are the hater... We will be slaves to the system mm. choice. So let's go into the second video because you think you're safe. Let me show you why you're not, and then let's show you what we can do about it. If you think that the FDIC will still come riding to the rescue, consider these facts. This chart will look at three figures. 
the FDIC insurance fund balance, the total deposits in U.S. banks, and the total derivatives exposure of the big banks. The FDIC has approximately $25 billion in its fund to cover losses. The total deposits in U.S. banks totals $9,283 billion. The U.S. bank's derivatives total is $297,514 billion. The FDIC could only cover 0.25% of all deposits and the FDIC could only cover 0.008% of the derivatives. Looking at the FDIC Bank of England joint paper summary, the text clearly says that in the U.S. they will use the powers granted under the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform Act and losses will be assigned to shareholders and unsecured creditors. Remember that as a depositor in a bank under the law you are an unsecured creditor. Moving further on down in this document the text clearly says that the strategy for a failed global systemically important financial institution will be to assign losses to shareholders and unsecured creditors. Going further down the same document you will see that the text clearly says that a resolution strategy for a failed globally systemically important financial institution will be to assign the losses to shareholders and unsecured creditors. Remember that you are now looking at an official government document and the plans for confiscation. Now we're going to have to hope and pray nothing bad happens, right? That's the point here. <laughs> That's the no, point. And I'm being facetious. No, obviously. I'm being serious. When you're yeah, facetious, I know that. we uh, th that is so truthful of sure. the reality. Bottom line, if we do not do something to protect mm. the kingdom's assets, I'm not talking individually here. This is a kingdom principle for me. God directed us very clearly, build cornerstone. He said he'd fill it. Why? The kingdom needs to be properly placed. Sure I get do. people that make comments like, oh, you're just doing it because you want to sell the silver. Go somewhere else if you you've don't want to come to us. You've said it ever since we started I'm this just, program. I'm here because I have a mandate given that we better get protected in the kingdom because if we lose our resources, we will not have the ability to help our neighbors, to feed the, those that are poor, and to sustain the church's fight Here. against the onslaught so. <laughs> of these Marxist anarchists attacking God. I've been in church all of my remembering life. Most people that I went to church with in what I call old church said, God's gonna, Jesus is going to come and get us out of all this mess. We won't have to put up with anything. Tell that to the people in Haiti. I've been there three times. Tell that to the people in India. I've been there. Tell, Tell that to China. people all over the world. Right. Tell that to them because they're already experiencing some absolutely horrible things because they allowed people that shouldn't have been in leadership to take leadership of those countries and destroy the economy that was there well, because of the banking system. And you know, in all mm. fairness, this has been our history. And in all through history, the kings have dominated. All through history, you know, we were the serfs. And it's just serfdom. And I'm just saying we in America were different because we, the people, formed this constitution. And Thomas Jefferson said that a criminal and the government are one and the same, but let the chains of the constitution um, bind the latter before they become the former. And he was just really trying to say that, that corruption and greed and Luciferian fear and control and slavery comes from unchecked balances of power. The constitution set up a check of balance Problem is, when you have a leader that then takes it into their own hands and, and runs away with it, becomes a, more of a tyranny than anything else. And it's all happened through history. It's not just in America right now. It's happened all through our history in the world. And so what I'm saying is we were unique, though. We established a constitution based on God and principles of the Bible. Most nations in the world, almost all, their constitutions were written by man. So there's countries like in Australia, for instance, they have their constitutional laws written by man. 
meaning they can define what you can say and what's true and not true. They can define what is right and wrong. So, they, so if you go to Australia and you, you start preaching about how abortion is so horrifically evil, they'll throw you in jail. So half our country or a portion of our country believes abortion is, is okay. They believe that you have a right to, to murder babies and even more so they believe you have a right to, to, to have babies come out, tear their bodies up and sell them off in body parts. So Luciferian it is that you even have England now trying to pass a law that when a, when a lady shows that she has a, a retarded or, or dysfunctional baby, they call it, that they would pay her to bring the baby to full term so they can use the harvest the body parts. How insanely horrific is that? And the kingdom, we call that worshiping Molech. So obviously it's wicked. It's anti-Christ, Luciferian, and demonic. But this is the spiritual warfare we are in as a nation. So know this is real. So let's get the kingdom's assets properly protected. And let's understand what we need to do and the best thing we can do, as far as I know, be educated. Go to our website, register for information if you have IRAs to protect and cash to protect. Give us a call. We'll help guide and service you. And if we can't, we'll send you where we can. Here's a good place to get started. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. Now, Charles made a good point that we just have to hope something drastic doesn't happen because I do believe our system is built to sustain a handful of things. But I'm here to say the power has shifted and there's something taking place globally and it's coming after us. I personally believe we're probably reaping what we've sown with the politics we've been showing and how we've destroyed Jesus Christ in our culture over the decades. But look at, now this is an example of what I mean. The only thing viably keeping the United States wealthy was an agreement known as the petrodollar. The petrodollar is what we did in the 70s when we came off the gold standard and we said, okay, Saudi Arabia, you guarantee that everyone who has to buy oil in the world uses an American dollar and in turn will back you up militarily. And of course, AKA, Iraq, Afghanistan, all these wars, Saudi Arabia has been in the middle of that asking us. So we're protecting our interests because if we lose that ability, meaning every country in the world then needed an American dollar to buy oil, everybody needed oil. Therefore, they needed American dollars. Therefore, we had this so-called American dream. Now, here's something very important. Check these images out. Let's go back to the center full so I can show this. Watch this. This is the Saudi king giving our president this medallion, this gold medallion. And this is when he first started. Everything was still looking good. But then the attacks had started to come from the China, the Iran, the Russia. Then everyone saw the policies we were instituting and freaked right out, right? And we've really lost our grip. Now, look what happened. Notice that necklace. And you notice the king of Saudi Arabia is taking it. You notice how he's getting ready to take it? Do you know why he took it? Because he gave it to him, the president of China. You notice he's got the necklace now. You don't believe that China is coming after our dollar dominance. Well, our so-called friends, though, they know what's coming, Charles. They know our petrodollar is weak, mm -hmm. and it's, they're going to go to a currency system soon, basket, and China, Russia, and India are leading the way. Mm. And so I'm going to end this program. I, you, you take that visual graphic up all you want because I'm merely here to say this is so essential for us to get the shift taking place in our society. So let's get our relations right with Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Let's read the Bible to one another. 
pick up a, a chapter. Start in John. And matter of fact, I'll give you a little tidbit that I'd love to get into sometime. Genesis 1-1 says, in the beginning created God, the heavens and the earth. That's written in English. But in the actual Hebrew interlinear, it says, in the beginning created Elohim, which is plural, gods. And then Aleph Tav, the first letter and last letter of the Hebrew alphabet was there. No translation to English, so we never knew it was there. Genesis 1-1 really says in the original text, in the beginning created Elohim, plural gods, I believe Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, and God, through the strength and covenant of the cross, because our left means strength, tav means sign, seal, mark, covenant, cross, the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created through the strength and covenant of the cross, the heavens and the earth. Man. Boy, I'd love to teach on that someday. It's that Aleph Tav is all about six times through the Old Testament. And if you understood that, you'd realize how real everything spiritual is. Get to know your God. And until next week, we'll pick this up and show you what's really going on with the gold and silver movements to the east. And until then, God bless you. You can watch these programs on demand 24-7, cornerstoneassetmetals.com. Be sure to tell somebody about the broadcast. We'll be back next week, same place and same time. We'll see you right here for more of The Wealth Transfer. Cornerstone Asset Metals has focused on using gold and silver reserves to protect your assets from volatile currencies. Another hard asset that is just as important for your sustainability is food. We believe that preparation is a key to being successful in an unstable economic environment, so we started CAM Ready Food just for you. The Bible tells us that Joseph used the resources of Egypt to prepare for a global famine by storing up food in a time of plenty. His preparation not only preserved the lives of his family, but many others as well. At Cornerstone, we believe the time is now to re-examine this biblical lesson so that you and your family can be prepared for any disaster, job loss, food shortage, or economic instability. You can start preparing today by visiting our website, camreadyfood.com, because food truly is the ultimate currency. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. 303-566-1000.